In my opinion, the relevance of uh, the work performed by Professor Nuslin Fohar are mainly two. The first one is to play genetics at the heart of developmental biology. She realized very early on, during the late 70s, that developmental biology or embryogenesis was a very reliable uh, process and need to be uh, tightly controlled. And then she placed genetics at the central stage of these studies. And the second one was that the mechanisms that control embryogenesis or embryonic development were shared among species. You know, therefore, this means that we can use very simple model organisms to understand how human develops, or human embryos develop, and to understand different diseases. It is a great honor uh, for the Department of Medicine and Life Sciences to have uh, Professor uh, Nulsein Forhar as a honoris causa uh, due to their, uh, her remarkable uh, achievements uh, at international level, but also for all uh, the visibility that she has given to the European science and especially for promoting uh, science among young uh, female uh, researchers. Much of the understanding of, of life, how it works and how it functions and, and, and many aspects have been found out by people who were very, very curious to understand particular aspects and they were not motivated by uh, utility or by it being medically important but by the curiosity which arose from the fascinating object. I loved working in the lab actually. This is a pity when the lab is getting bigger and bigger and you have more people to supervise and you have more other duties you cannot really do experiments anymore because you don't have enough uninterrupted time. But I love looking at people's original data actually still. The best part of receiving the Nobel, I think the recognition for my field was very important that people all of a sudden got sort of so, ah, developmental biology is something which is very interesting. And for the people who worked in this field, it also was very important that their topic was recognized. And otherwise, well, to be famous has some good sides and some bad sides. <laughs> <laughs>